testimonials? I mean, where do the, where do they fit in? Do you, um, I, I you know I I really put testimonials and stuff in a similar category as as reviews and. Uh, in, in that you are, you're getting someone to share a little bit about their experience. Now, I've seen a lot of, and, and you've done this as well, uh, a lot of businesses where once, you know, when they have that, that glowing uh, client, they'll do things like actually filming a testimonial and, and getting that out there. And that is- I do it. Yeah, that is incredibly impactful and it gets your message out there. It's another piece of content that you can push out, you can push it out across your social mediums, you can host it somewhere on your website, you can, I mean, there's so many different, you can use that testimonial as part of your initial nurture sales process, and, and it, it's, a, it's a, perfect, it, uh, a perfect way to get some social proof out there. Well, and another, it's another way to get, get traffic. Right. I never really considered that, right? That we're putting, that's just another little component that's put in there as a little, piece on Facebook to add into maybe a sales ocean, an educational component mm -hmm. and ask offer component. I mean, it's just another way to get organic traffic. Well, what did we talk about before? People don't buy products and services. They buy relationships, they buy stories and narratives that make sense to them.